How's it going guys? In today's video we're checking out everything new for the latest developer beta for update that we got this morning for iOS 18. So we have it installed right here on our main device. And one of the biggest changes by far is a cool surprise because if we go into our settings now and we select wallpaper, we finally got new wallpapers and I really do like the design of these. It's very minimum, low key will definitely fit nice inside like a dark interior vehicle like we have right here. So I'm assuming these will transition from light mode or dark mode. And this also involves the dark mode one, the black one. So if I'm going to go ahead and select this one as an example, set it, and then go into our settings. Well, first let's admire how it looks like. That looks sleek and elegant, I got to say. Then, of course, if we go back in our setting and go into appearance, and we select automatic, and go on light mode, this is how they look like with light mode enabled. So depending on your vehicles or your personal preference, some of these other ones, as you can see, it's much brighter. It definitely does change the whole entire vibe of everything. And the white one kind of gives me like an iMac theme of the latest generation iMac. I gotta say, again, that looks really nice. But in addition to that, we did maintain some of the previous wallpapers, which is great. But then we also got a new solid black one there's no light or dark mode enable transmission or a transition one from light or dark mode, which is an all white background instead of like a dark gray, I believe what we previously have. And also the icons, if you notice, uh, they're blank, but in reality, when you go back, they do have them. Maybe it's a little hint that Apple may be deciding if they're gonna remove the text underneath the icons. But other than that, I haven't really seen anything else new get added. Because a bug that we experienced on the previous beta update was where before we were able to listen to our media and then just hit record off our phone. It was supposed to continue recording because that was a new feature that can be found if you go into your iPhone settings and go into camera and then go into record audio and then go into the record sound section. And on the very bottom, there's a new enable or disable allow audio playback. So that's still buggy. That was only working for the first and second developer beta and for developer beta four, that's still buggy. But we did receive a cool surprise update and that, and that can be located in the Google Maps app because now you have the ability to report crashes or speed traps and stuff. That's what this little triangle thing is here for. But uh, I guess it's buggy for me right now as well. But in the near future, whenever everything is perfected and we actually have the official release of iOS 18, this new ability on, on the Google Maps to report car accidents will be available for us. Not sure why it's not working. It was working earlier, I swear. Even that's not working. I guess Google is just bugged with me right now. So that's about it in terms of new updates for the build for beta. Everything else remained the same because the other new feature, in case you're not familiar yet, is in the silent mode. You now have the ability to silent all your other Apple devices, like your iPhone and your Apple Watch, whenever your device connects to CarPlay automatically. You can decide if you do enable this or disable that. I like having it enabled. This way I don't receive a notification on my watch or my iPhone while CarPlay also shows me the notification. So I like that silent other Apple devices and make this your primary Apple device for your notification. And speaking of notifications, if you ever receive like an incoming text message or like an AirTag notification, there's now this new redesign animation as well as the contact profile now showing in that new notification menu. That's changed. In addition to that, if you ever asked for like the weather, what's the weather like in Seattle? It's currently clear and 74 degrees in Seattle, Washington. Temperatures we, are heading down from 73 to 59 degrees tonight. We now have this cool new animation redesign and other redesigns can be located in the home button right here. This is now the traditional like iPod classic, like the iPod touch design back then when we had physical home buttons. Let me go ahead and switch out this wallpaper though. I feel like the white's a little bit too much. Select this one, select, and let's go ahead and change back to, let's go ahead and change back to always dark mode. There we go. That definitely does look elegant, I gotta say. Now, another new change that I also noticed is the podcast app. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. So the podcast app, I know, now notice, will now have these down arrow icons letting us know that these, these podcasts are the ones that are downloaded offline. So now if you go into your library and we select like our downloads and we select a podcast of choice, they all continue having that downward pointing arrow letting us know that it's downloaded. 
so we don't need reception when it comes down to listening to them while on the long road trip so that's kind of cool and then of course back in the settings another new change underneath the silent mode is the new accessibility tab because now you have color filtering as i previously showed you in the past but again i'm just going over everything in case you're new to this channel this is your first time watching this video so these are the same color filters we've received in the past you could also increase the density into low medium or high and these are not only good for those that have a hard time seeing certain colors basically colorblind i find this setting super practical if you're wearing like polarized sunglasses as, as an example so i like that that we have that ability of course you could disable it entirely and reverse back to the original the bold text is pretty cool it just makes your text font bolder everything including your music what's playing as well as the app icon if you have like a large display like i do right here i think it's a cool way to like spice up your design for your personal car play and then in voice controls I like voice control a lot because if you notice so now we have a blue icon over here with sound waves letting us know that our phone is always constantly listening for commands because if you look at your phone it also shares the same blue icon on top. So by having this enabled your device is always looking for keywords. So if I say something like open YouTube music it will quickly open the third party app so long as we know the name and then anything you see on the screen you can just say tap my super mix and it immediately selects even like titles that you see on the screen you can also say tap back and it takes you back just like that or also you could say tap now playing tap pause and you're good now apple maps i know this is something a lot of people have been requesting a lot of people want to know if you could do a two pincher, a two finger to pinch and zoom. Unfortunately, no. But there's still the shortcut where you can double tap and then you just simply just do this to quickly zoom in and zoom out. I don't think this is due to the fact that Apple is limiting us not to be able to do this. I think it just depends on if you, the vehicle you're currently using that supports like multi-touch gestures. But carrying on back in our settings. Sound recognition is also a new thing that's in the accessibility tab where by enabling sound recognition, the head unit will constantly be listening out for horns or sirens. So if you have a hard time of hearing or you're just not too sure if you're hearing like emergency vehicles, basically a little notification will pop up letting you know that either A, a car horn is honking at you, somebody's honking, or B, sirens are nearby, ambulance, fire department, or a cop. So to demonstrate how that works, here's another phone that's not paired to CarPlay. I'm going to play Siren Sounds and show you how that looks like in real time. And just like that, it popped up, letting us know that maybe Sirens are nearby. Then another cool thing that Siri could also do is keep track of like current games that are playing. So if I request Siri, what was the Giants' last score? The Giants were beaten by the Dodgers yesterday. The final score was 3 to 2. Why are all my favorite teams going down? But you now have that new splash screen animation, just like the weather. So disabling this, disabling voice controls, and their new change is just a new updated icon for Siri and suggestions, and now shows the Apple intelligence design. But if we go in here, everything else basically remains the same. And if you're wondering why I have these O and I icons whenever I have something toggled on, that's just something I turned on on my iPhone under the accessibility tab to make it easier for video demonstration purposes on what's on and what's off. Even though the green is good enough, to be honest. There you guys have it. That is everything new for the latest version of the developer beta 4 of iOS 18. I'm really happy that Apple gave us new wallpaper to play around with. I really do like these ones. I get, wish Apple gave us these wallpapers when the first time when they rolled out the wallpaper change ability i think these would have been a good addition from the very beginning but other than that there you guys have it hopefully you guys enjoyed if you'd like to watch more check out this video over there where i go through all the new 50 plus changes that apple added on ios 18 if you're new to the beta my name was eddie and thank you so much for watching